Howdy ho there friends, Bobby here today. Hey folks, uh, today we are going to be installing a new fuel pump in our 2000 model Ford Ranger pickup truck. Here's our little fuel pump right here. Got a little Bosch unit here that we're gonna get installed and I'm gonna take you through the procedure of doing it. So let's get this done. Now the first thing that we will do is take our floor jack and we're gonna jack the rear of the vehicle up and pull the rear tires off. And we will be supporting the rear axle with some jack stands. So let's get that. Done. Now with our tires off and our vehicle resting safely on some jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and remove the six bolts uh, inside the bed here, and they take a T55 Torx bit. There's two up here on this end, one in each corner, and there's two on this side back here. You can see that one and that one, and same on this side. So we're gonna remove all six of these, and then we'll continue on. Do note that uh, all of them may not come out quite as easy unless you have a really strong impact wrench. You may have to use a breaker bar. I did on a few of them just to kind of break them loose and turn them a couple turns. And then I had no problem with the impact. Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rear bumper as well. And I've already got this side here disconnected, as you can tell. And all you gotta do is take two 18 millimeter headed bolts out of the way and reach up in here and unplug your tag lights on both sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unhook the other side and lower this bumper out of the way. Okay, next all we wanna do is disconnect this uh, wiring connector back here. This is the uh, harness that's running up for our tail lights. I almost forgot, one last thing to do is take your seven millimeter headed socket and remove the three bolts that are holding the filler neck to the bed. Folks, now we have the bed slid back. Um, I actually did this by myself. But if you have a helper, it would be a little bit easier. I just had to kind of lift up on each side and then kind of grab it in the rear and kind of slide it back till I exposed the faulty problem, our fuel pump, okay? So now from here, we got plenty of room to come down in here. We're gonna disconnect these lines going to the uh, sender. And it looks like we have one wiring connector to disconnect. And from that point, I will show you what I use to take the fuel cylinder out of the tank. Okay, one thing I want to show you here, folks. Uh, there was two connectors down here. One that was actually attached over here on the frame rail. Uh, one of them's for the uh, gas gauge and one of them's for the fuel pump. Now these three lines, okay? Uh, there's two different types of ways these are connected. This one here that I have my finger on. I don't know if we can see that. It's got just a little green clip inside here. And what you gotta do is push it on the line. I can't do it with one hand. And squeeze the little green clip in as far as you can get it and then pull back on the line. That one should release. Now the other two have the older style, what I call a Ford clip. It's a little plastic clip and you can kind of get a screwdriver on the other side of it and you can kind of pry it out of the way and be careful not to break the tabs off unless you have a new one to go on. And these two lines are actually held on with that. So just be careful disconnecting them. And we're also gonna go ahead and get the air blower. Before I pull this uh, sending unit out of here, I wanna take compressed air and blow all this dirt off of the top of the pump real good. Actually, I'm gonna do it now before I disconnect the lines. Get all this nice and clean before we actually pull all this out. Okay, I got the lines disconnected. I wanna show you these little clips right quick just so in case you've never seen one. You just pry back on this tab here and this little clip here will, will slide right off. Two of the lines were held on with that and the other one had the, uh, the green style clip right here that you just squeeze and then pull the line out. Now, what I wanna show you, this thing here has a big old plastic nut on here, okay? It's got little notches on it. They make a special tool for grabbing these and twisting them off, but I don't have one. Uh, I, I'll use a chisel here and a hammer and I will just grab one of these tabs here and I will tap on it and be careful not to you know break the plastic uh, uh, locking nut here okay just kind of tap it around may have to catch a couple different angles couple tabs here and we'll get it broke loose and this thing will spin right off and we'll be ready to pull the uh, fuel pump out of there 
Okay, now that it's um, broken loose with the uh, chisel and the hammer, we can actually turn this thing by hand now. So we will remove this big nut. And then, as you can see, we'll just kind of work it out of here. And we will lay this out of the way for now. And now we should be able to go ahead. I'm having to do this one-handed and hold the camera. But hopefully I will be able to uh, just go ahead and pull the sender right on out of here. If I can't, I'll have to put the camera down. But it looks like we're successful here. Okay, now we have a sock that we gotta kinda work around the edge of the tank. And then you have your little uh, float for your fuel gauge, make sure you don't um, get it snagged on anything and bend it, or then your fuel level sender will be inaccurate. So here's our fuel sender assembly. I'm gonna lay it on a workbench and I'm gonna show you how to replace this pump. Okay, we got our fuel pump laying here. Uh, one thing we're gonna have to do, there's, a, there's like a band that holds the pump in place to the bracket. Looks like a seven or an eight millimeter to remove that. I'll go grab a couple sockets here in a minute. We will remove that. And then we have a hose here that we'll have to cut the clamps off. They're crimp style clamps. So we'll actually cut this one and just remove this whole pump right off of here. Now here's what comes with this uh, assembly that I bought this Bosch. It comes with a new fuel pump. A new wiring harness connector here, which we may have to splice in. Uh, we probably will have to do that. And a new piece of hose and two clamps that you can clamp with a screwdriver. And this little uh, rubber piece that actually goes around the pump before you screw it to the bracket. Uh, it also comes with two different style O-rings, one being a flat ring, one being a round O-ring. It looks like our unit has a flat ring on it, so we'll replace it with the flat one. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that it did not come with a new sock. Typically, when you get a whole fuel pump assembly, it comes with a new sock. And then right here on the bag, it says, uh, new filter screen required to validate warranty. So, you know, that's one of them no-brainers. They all just put that right on in the box of the pump. But anyway, I may make a trip up to the store and pick up one here in a little bit, or I may just risk it and say the heck with it. So we'll go ahead and get this disassembled and get the new one on and we'll get this thing back together. I want to show you before we do all that, you will need like a pair of dikes, side cutters, or like a pair of nail pullers or something to cut this uh, clamp off of here. You'll have to reach down here and snip both of these off to get, to get those uh, uh, clamps off of that hose there. Hey, we went ahead and ran up to the store and got ourselves a uh, sock for this thing and got it installed. Uh, sock for the fuel pump is about uh, 13 bucks. So we're getting ready to assemble all this stuff back together. We're gonna put our pump in place in our bracket here. We're gonna use our new piece of uh, fuel line to make our connection with the uh, uh, sender here. And our pigtail connector here, actually there's no wiring required. This end here plugs into the new pump and this end plugs into your factory clip that's uh, on the sender here. So we should have this back together in a few minutes and we'll be ready to put this thing back in the car. Stay tuned. All right, everything's back together, ready to go. Got our new hose in place. Got both the clamps tightened down. We've got our uh, little bracket uh, strapped back around our new fuel pump, socks in place. Uh, connector is made. We put our connection here in place. Everything's connected. We're ready to go back together, folks. Let's stick this thing in. Okay, I got the pump back in place and get ready to put this ring on. I put just a dab of motor oil in here on these threads here, just so this thing kind of goes on like butter. And we'll get, we'll put it down hand tight and we'll take our punch and uh, tighten it up just a little bit more. Okay, folks, all the connections are made. Everything is hooked back up. Let's reach in here and fire this baby up. friends and neighbors and we're checking to make sure we have no fuel leaks back here before we put our band back together okay friends hey i want to thank you for watching the video today all we have left now to do is to get the bed back in place get it bolted down hook up the fuel filler neck put the bumper back on and we'll be done hey our project is done i hope it was helpful 
Please leave us a comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Let's make 2016 a great year. We got more videos to come, so tell a friend about us.